Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here and today we're in Parc Monceau in Paris, France and today we're going to talk about are some of the typical service misunderstandings or service failures that companies do have because you know what we do make mistakes as companies that it does happen but the thing is we can kind of prepare our contingency plans what are some typical things that could go wrong well if we know these things go wrong we can be better prepared for them and kind of improve and unscrew up from these service failures okay now if you think about some of your more common service failures that you've bumped into i mean we're here in paris which is infamous for its bad wait staff well yes you can have those personnel issues you know maybe you know there's an attitude or rudeness or just not being very friendly or polite you do have these kind of things happen and the thing is it's not just here in paris i mean paris people are fantastic and just the waiters have a a little bit of a bad reputation, but businesses all over the world, I mean, think about it. You catch somebody on a bad day, they can go from the greatest waiter or waitress or salesperson ever to just someone that's just no fun to deal with. So you do have that, okay? So we have those personnel issues we have to think about. And the thing is, some of these personnel issues really, it's not about the person or the personnel themselves. It could be a lack of knowledge. It could be a lack of training. So we have to really think about things. If we see that people are having a problem with the personnel, is it because the personnel don't know what good service or they're not sure what they're supposed to do because we all have our preconceived notion of what good service is and companies have their idea of good service so we have to train our workers to make sure we don't have those personnel issues so that there's one thing you have to think about another thing you might see where there's some service failures is time delays I mean think about it when you order a pizza and they say it's gonna be there in 30 minutes or less you are super happy if it comes anytime before 30 minutes at 31 minutes you're like this is the worst pizza place ever I want to write a really bad review about them I hate them I'm never gonna order from them again well you know what time delays do actually upset people and that is a problem with service we fly a lot and think about it if we miss if one flight is delayed we could miss our connecting flight and that means instead of being in Paris we're spending an extra day in Indianapolis which is happened before so you have to think about these things now what firms can do with these time delays if you think about it when you order pizza online they have the tracker right you can see that you have put the order in and John is making your pizza now and Rebecca put this pizza in the oven and Miguel is bringing it to your house you have all those things there which is which is nice but also it helps you feel better about the time you know when things are that's why when people get upset with time delays is they just don't know is when are things gonna start moving again so you have to think about that. So time delays can be a big issue. And then of course, there's always the outages. That's when the service is unavailable. Like, why is my cable not working? Why is my internet not working? You're happy with your internet all day long until it doesn't work. So when you have those outages, what can we do? And so what companies do for those kind of service failures, you might see they might offer like a rebate or a month free or a discount or something back, but they're always very sorry. We're sorry that the PlayStation Network is down for the day. We're sorry that our app is not working between 3 and 4 a.m. this morning as we do updates. You have these apologies, you have these things in order to help people. So you might see if a service not available online they might have a 1-800 number to call to say if you have an issue during this time call us right away so we can take care of that so you can kind of think about those things but those are some of the more common kind of failures you do see you know there's the outages you know so you don't have your service you have time delays and then you have personnel issues so you do have that so what can we do to unscrew up even more how can we do better at these things well the first thing you should know about unscrewing up it starts with listening to your customers i mean people want to be heard they want to know that the company cares that things aren't working out that's how you're going to turn people off if they have an issue and you say whatever well of course that's going to make them more upset and they're going to write more bad reviews and they're going to tell all your friends i mean if you ever sit in one of my classes i will talk about my bad service experiences with companies that were just silly i'm like i had issues with at&t i've had issues with comcast i'm like come on why can't you get this done and why can't you take it seriously because i mean it took comcast like three or four months to find my house i mean i'm like the box is in my backyard the cable company like no we had someone go by there there's no cable anywhere near your house I'm like you're not listening to me there is a comcast box in my backyard it says comcast on it all of my neighbors around me have comcast like sorry sir there's just nothing there i'm like you're not listening i'm like do i need to take an axe and chop out the, the box in my backyard since it doesn't work well then all of a sudden they did show up you know you got to think about these things so customers want to be listened to right so make sure you're listening to them because the thing is you might find out that there are issues that you don't know about because I know sometimes people say customers just like to complain to get free stuff well yes there are customers like that 
but there's also customers that you might learn that, oh, we do have an issue out there. We do need to fix things out there. Like, so for example, with uh, with uh, by our house, you know, they didn't realize that we were a new house that was there. So for them, there was never a house before, so nothing existed there. So that could be why it was in there kind of like data that oh no that doesn't exist when it really was that the thing for all the houses around us was in our backyard so you do have that okay now another thing that's going to help you unscrew up better is to resolve the customers problems quickly look if you can get things done quickly do it quickly because the faster it's taken care of the less time people dwell on things i mean think about it if you make a mistake and you just think about it and think about it think about it it just gets worse and worse so if we can fix it right away and get things back on track people will stop focusing on the mistake and focus on that you fix the mistake because that's the thing is no one is perfect no company is perfect okay and that's one thing you have to realize as a business but if we can fix our mistakes quickly that's going to make our clients a lot happier and it's going to satisfy those upset feelings a bit sooner now one thing i really want to stress when it comes to unscrewing up from these service failures is, is one thing you really got to think about is you want to kind of give a fair solution to everybody it is not always give the customer everything oh the pizza was a minute late so we're going to give them a year's worth of free pizza no maybe you give them a, a ticket for ten dollars off next time or maybe you give them you know, free breadsticks for the next order something like that you don't have to give them everything okay because that's not really a fair solution to you because they spent 10 bucks on a pizza and you're going to give them 50 bucks of free stuff that, that's not really fair for you as a business so you really have to think about these things like let's find a fair solution for everybody that's why what you'll see is uh for example on airlines when there is a mess up like they oversell the flights which happens sadly too often they'll always like let people volunteer hey we need a couple people to jump off this flight. We'll give you $500 in airline miles and we'll put you up in a hotel for the night and we'll give you you know, dinner as well. It's like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, because it's a big convenience. If you don't get to home today, you have to go home the next day. You miss a day of work, you don't get paid. I mean, there's a lot of stuff with there. So we think a fair solution is you will let people volunteer first to, drop, to not fly on the flight and then we'll give them stuff as well to make up for it, okay? So it's finding a, an equitable solution for everyone. And the thing is, by doing these things, we can really increase what we call service recovery, like recovering from our mess ups. And that's why you really kind of want to know is what are our typical mess ups and what should we do when these things happen? You have these things prepared. It makes it a lot easier to unscrew up. And what you'll see is you'll actually have people that, be, that go from being really upset with you to actually being your biggest fans later on because you really you know fixed your mess ups. And I know for me, back in the day, we always had some, we used to get some interesting comments and one person had said, you know, you deserve the same fate to Saddam Hussein I'm like wow that, that that's pretty hardcore man and and then I explained the thing to him and then they ended up apologizing they were sharing our videos for months after that because they really enjoyed the videos after they figured out what the mistake was and so you got to realize it's just because you messed up and your client your clients are upset today doesn't mean they're going to be upset forever ever because you can make up just like in any relationship you're not always lovey-dovey sometimes you have little issues and you have your little fights but you know what if you make up the right way it makes your relationship strong Stronger, whether it's in a normal relationship, a husband and wife, or if it's with a client, customer, or a business. Anyway, I wish you all the best and bye from Paris.